It is almost eight years to the day since the dreadful crash at this level crossing. It is due for an upgrade. Network Rail has been assessing whether these automatic half barriers should be replaced by full barriers across the whole road or by a much more expensive bridge. It has gone for the bridge. The crash in November 2004 was caused by a local man, Brian Drysdale, parking his car in the middle of the crossing to commit suicide. In the catastrophic crash that followed, six other people died. Among them was a little girl, Luella Main from Newbury, and her mother, Anjanette Rossi. Today, Luella's father gave his reaction to Network Rail's decision. It's staggering it's taken so long. There are so many crossings, that, the crossings that people walk across. You, you wouldn't dream of walking across the M4, so why are people still having to walk across train lines? It's, it really beggars belief. In May this year, a train hit a motor scooter at the same level crossing. The rider was killed. The level crossing is due for renewal, um, and a bridge solution provides us a once-in-a-generation opportunity to, to replace this level crossing now and remove the safety risk once and for all. It raises the stakes for Thatcham level crossing a few miles further west. In peak periods, the barriers are closed to road traffic for longer than they are open. We've been looking for a bridge for 25 years now. They keep saying we'll build a bridge, we'll build a bridge, but they never build a bridge. And if you time it just right, you're OK, but sometimes you can sit here for ages. Since the often nervous crash, this railway line has got busier. Network Rail is in the middle of a programme to close 750 crossings by 2014. By picking the most dangerous ones, it can reduce the total risk by a quarter. But here at Afton Nervert, the new bridge is not yet a done deal. Network Rail will have to apply for planning permission. For anyone with a personal connection to the events here eight years ago, this will be seen as the right thing. Just several years too late. Paul Clifton, BBC South Today, Afton Nervert.